You know, I just got a wave of nostalgia when I fired this game up. Well, hello everybody and welcome to The Last Stand, a game that a lot of people might remember, especially if you grew up in the age of Flash games with websites like Newgrounds, Armored Games, Y8, Mini Clips, so on and so on. Because this was one of the most popular Flash games in the early 2000s. And the premise of the game is actually fairly simple. You play as a man who's tried to survive the zombie apocalypse, so he erects a barricade to make his metaphorical last stand until help finally arrives, which it eventually does in 20 nights. <laughs> Goody. Oh, that being said, let's go and jump right into it. Oh, it has been years since I play this. Day one, the last stand, and every night you get a journal entry, which I got to remember to read each one. But I finished the wall today. It should hold them off for a while, I hope. Tomorrow I better look for survivors and something better to protect myself with. I have to get through the night first. This game is like your basic point and click kind of game. All you gotta do is just shoot the zombies and prevent them from reaching the barricade. Simple enough. And on the bottom right, you see your barricade health and your ammo. Wow, 99% right off the bat. That's actually good. Alright. So... Every night you get to this screen, this screen, this is like your things to do clipboard, essentially. You get 12 hours and you got to invest those 12 hours into three things. One, repairing the barricade, which since there's only one survivor, which is me, that's only like 5% an hour. The more survivors you have, the higher of a percentage you can repair the barricade. The second thing, which is the thing I'm going to be doing is search for weapons. Now, every time you search for weapons, this gauge down here will increase. This is your weapon find a meter. When it's full, you'll get a new weapon. Now, in later nights, zombies will actually drop certain weapons. Like a good example would be the 357. If you didn't get the 357 this night, you would definitely get it in night three. And then, of course, the final thing is look for survivors. I like to save that until night four. Because survivors can be handy. They increase your, like I mentioned previously, your barricade repair percentage. But they could also help defend the barricade. But let's go and accept that. I should get the 357 revolver. Yep. Gonna equip that as my main, equip the handgun as my backup, and read the dire entry, day two. It worked. Well, it worked fairly well. I it didn't fall down on its own is what I mean. They're still just as slow as the others I've seen. Don't seem to make the jump to get over the wall. Oh, trust me, the zombies do get worse. And gee, I wonder what other weapons we're gonna get. Like a chainsaw, a sawed-off, an Uzi, an AK or an M4. Oh, it's a mystery. But let's go ahead and hop into night two. I like to fire a couple rounds in the dark because you can't actually shoot the zombies off screen. And the 357 is decent. The only downside to it is it's, it's reload, but hey, it is a revolver. But when you get a headshot with it, God damn, you actually see it. I think this is also the night where we start encountering... Oh yeah, I see one lane right there. This is the night where fat zombies start spawning. But let's go ahead and search for more weapons. We should get the EMP. Yep, EMP 45. Equip that, equip that. There we go. Day three, just like on TV. I'm shooting them in the head like they said, like the TV said. Seems to stop them quick enough. They don't have an explanation for what's happening though. Uh, probably a virus. It's usually always a virus. 
Oh, hey, it's a Catholic priest. Definitely going to hell for that one. And this would have been the night. Uh, I don't know if that zombie's going to spawn. We'll see. There's usually a cop zombie that spawns this night with a 357, unless I accidentally shot him off screen. There we go. And this is the night I like to look for survivors. Let's see. Uh, two survivors found. Hmm. Oh, that come in handy. Day four, cop killer. Oh, I did kill the cop. Killed a cop today. Not sure how I feel about that. All's fair, I guess. He dropped a revolver. That might come in handy, though. Yeah, I definitely shot the cop off screen then. <laughs> I still need more hands around here to get anything done. Should look for more survivors in the morning. Yep, there's a survivor. Now, survivors will help with defending the barricade, but don't expect much out of them. They're usually armed with, like, shrinky-dink pistols. I mean, it's helpful, but... Oh, honestly, I was hoping to get more survivors. I might actually look for uh, more survivors in the next night. There we go. Yeah, notice how it went up from 5% to 10%. Alright, let's get more survivors. Found three. Nice. So we're up to five. That's good. Day five. Dogs. Uh oh. Whatever it is that's causing this, it's not restricted to humans. Huge stinking Rottweilers seem to be affected too. Man, I hate dogs. Yep. Oh, one of them's armed with that 357. Running them all down. There we go. It's up to 25%, which is nice. Now I can just focus all my efforts on searching for weapons, which... Oh, none, and I lost the survivor. Damn it! Now, if you actually do go out searching, you do face a uh, situation. That zombie had a shotgun, which hopefully I actually get it. You will actually survive as you go searching. And sometimes zombies, when they get to the barricade, can't kill your survivors. Which is not ideal. This is going well. This is going so effing well. Great. Oh, great, great, great. I'm just going to put four into that one and arrest some survivors. Okay, we found a survivor and we got the shotgun. Nice. Day seven, bat farm. These fat bastards are all over the place. They seem to take way more punishment than the others. Need something with a bit more kick to finish them off. Luckily, I got the shotgun for that. 
Yeah, fat zombies are much more durable than the regular zombies. Which I imagine this night's gonna have a shit ton of them. Shotgun's very handy because it's got that spread. Go back to the MP. There we go. Let's go 25%. Oh, that's that into that. And the rest we could spend on searching for weapons. Which I find none. Goody. Diary entry. Day eight. Oh, great. Now the fatties are running. Great. <laughs> seen a running fat zombie that entire time <laughs> I don't know what our main character was talking about but I'm gonna invest more into weapons because I need more weapons I found the chainsaw goody <laughs> chainsaw very handy day nine faster there's something going on with them now they're getting faster and stronger they're, st they're saying that they should die off eventually but it just doesn't seem to be happening i mean eventually they will run out of energy and start dying off that's just the way biology works but unless they got like a decent food supply which i don't know are we out in the countryside or are we near like a big city because if we're by a city then yeah they're most likely got enough nutritions. I'm going to say. Kill them with the chainsaw. Oh god, they're building up on the wall. There we go. Okay, I need to repair the barricade. We'll invest two there and then the rest in the weapons because I need to get a. Ah, <laughs> uh, the well, sawed off. Oh, yeah, the sawed off has like a massive cone, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the sawed off. Hold him off. Oh, we lost the survivor too. I just noticed that. Air barricade, search for weapons. Uh, I'll go six for weapons, five for survivors. Found one survivor. Okay, we're back up to five. 
Good. Fuck, I forgot to read the dot. Ah, whatever. That inmate. Oh, those are inmates. This sawed off's good. All right, they get into the barricades. So bring out the chainsaw. There we go. I wish you could actually go back and reread some of the diary entries. Then one there, rest into finding weapons. We'll be getting a weapon this night. Hunting rifle, nice. Day 12, they're on to me. Oh, uh oh. Had a visit from the zombie police today. Guess they heard about me killing everyone. All right, take that off. Equip the hunting rifle. Hunting rifle is really good in this game. Because it's got a really good reload. But it's also got piercing. Freaking running zombies, stop! I also lost another survivor. I lost the old man. God damn, that hunting rifle's good. Couple of that. I really don't need to repair the barricade, so let's just go with like four there and the rest in the finding a gun. Found the Uzi. Uzi's all right, but I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stick with the hunting rifle. Day thirteen, a goddamn armor. Aim for the torso, they said, but no. Now the bastards have vest. Do you know how hard it is to shoot out the damned legs? <laughs> I mean, that won't even kill him. But yeah, we should be dealing with armor of zombies this night. But you gotta aim for the legs. I think you could also aim for the... Yeah, the head. we go guess we'll go 10 there crap I didn't find anything yeah the, re the next couple nights I'm just gonna focus and I forgot to read the diary god damn it yeah next couple nights I'm just gonna focus all of it on uh, finding a gun Cause we're on night 14, I need to get the, uh, special gun before the end. That's all of them. More in the barricade, more weapons. M4A1. 
I don't know how good the M4 is. We'll see. I should just take out the shotgun. Well, not the shotgun chainsaw. Okay, that's not that good. Back to hunting rifle. Unloaded him the last zombie with the M4. Yep. Rest on that. I guess I could go one on barricade repair. AK 47. At oh, we lost one. Crap. Oh well. Yeah, the AK is not as good as the M4, so I ain't gonna worry about it. We got a good lineup right now. Day 16, running low. We've exhausted pretty much all the food in the area. Why did I choose somewhere so far from the cities? Yeah, so I am in like a remote location, so I don't know why the zombies ain't dying from starvation, but, well. Guess we need to make the decision to move, or not. It's just getting so dangerous. Now nah, you're perfect, because it is a stupid idea to go into the cities. Zombie apocalypse hits, never go to the cities. That is literally the worst place to be. Like New York, DC, LA. Yeah, just don't do it. Okay, they're actually tearing up my barricade. Wow, they did an effing number on my barricade. That's not good. Five there. Let's go six there. I need to do one there. There's like one more weapon we could grab. And I need it. There we go. I need to get survivors. Uh, God, this is stressful. Back up to full. Uh, 
Day 18 escape. We need to move in the next few days. There's just too many of them. We have no supplies left. No pro the problem is, where do we go? Nowhere. Oh my god. Barricade broke! Barricade broke! Ah! <laughs> I held him off with the chainsaw. <laughs> oh no. Everything get the weapons. No. Oh, 81%. Fuck. And I lost one. Day 19, the army. Seems the military presence here are all dead. We started making preparations to get out of here. Is that a clown? This is bad, this is bad. Oh no, yeah, they got me. Fuck! Almost got it. There we go. Oh, that was a tough one. I need to get the next weapon. I need to get the next weapon. Fuck. And I lost the survivor. The end. Delayed another day. Man, this is getting dire. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna equip the AK. I'm hoping the AK is good. No, it's not, and I lost the survivor.
Oh my god. There is no way I survived that. I actually survived that. Well done, you survived 20 days and nights. Where to from here? Who knows? It's a new day. Oh my god. I'm actually impressing myself with that last night. <laughs> And the reason for that is because I like the the final weapon you can get is a Barrett 50 cal, which can easily go through the military zombies. But nah, just use the hunting rifle. You're fine. I can't believe I got through the final night with just the hunting rifle, an AK, one survivor, and a barricade at like what 50%. <laughs> oh, but that should do it at the la for the last stand. Oh no, it's still fun. I, I've always loved this game, especially like back during like middle school when I used to play it. it is definitely one of my favorite flash games out there. And this game actually did get like a Steam release, which I'll leave a link down below. I'm kind of glad that this game was preserved because uh, sadly Microsoft doesn't support Flash anymore. So a lot of these old school Flash games were. Uh, Essentially axed like deleted from the internet, which is sad, but there is an effort to conserve, you know, conserve all these flash games because they are internet history. And some of them are just so good like this one. But if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. So listen until next time. Have a good day.